Good morning folks, a very crisp, clear blue sky morning here in Ipswich. It got down to around about 3 degrees Celsius, so not as cold as what a lot of you folks get through winter, but still pretty cold for me, I'm a bit of a lizard. And yeah, the fish, they're not going to be moving around too much today until it warms up. I just had a quick look before and their water temp is down around about 17 degrees. Oh look, it's fallen a bit. So we're sitting at 16 degrees at the moment. So it's definitely not a temperature where they would be able to metabolize the food. Where are they? They're down in there somewhere where they'd be able to metabolize the food. Just here in the patch, we've been harvesting more bok choy. Got to take some more out to take around to my parents. Um, they also want some water chestnuts. They want to start using them in a few stir fries. And I think I mentioned I was going to plant these out in a bit of a trial in the last video. It may have been to um, supporters or to YouTube, but that will be happening. Also looking at setting up a little hydroponic trial as well, which I think I may have mentioned to you folks. Oh, I'll just whip around to the spuds. Oh, and the little Jackie boy. Little Jackie boy had his first day at puppy training yesterday. And he went, oh, actually, we had our first day. He didn't go. Uh, we learnt the ropes and next week he's going along. Even though he already knows he has a command for sit, um, come loosely <laughs> when he recognises his name. And we also have a command for him to eat. All our dogs are told to sit. And then when we're ready, we tell them to munch. And that's when they have out whatever food we're offering. So he's got them down. But a few other things like ball we're working on, tossing the ball. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Get your ball. Where's your ball? Yeah, he hasn't learned that one yet, but he's learned sit. And he's learned to look at us in the face and that sort of thing. But yeah, we're going to try and train this one up, even though the rest, Lizzie and Bunny, were very well trained dogs, naturally. Uh, we thought we'd have a go from the beginning with this one, so we don't lose too many shoes and bits and pieces like that. Back round to the spuds. The spuds are starting to make their way through. A little shoot down there. And I thought, yep, a little shoot over there. So these ones are doing rather well and i've been playing with the idea even though we may be moving and actually setting up a flow through wicking bed with the next one anyway the next system uh, in here the broccoli on this side in particular is that more no that's not more that's all damage i think that's all damage yeah i can't see any bugs there um we're starting to get some necrosis on the actual leaves themselves so yes I thought it could be something to do with potassium because I haven't fed up with potassium for a while so I dosed the system with some potassium the other day and we'll see if that helps it but yeah otherwise the broccoli is still doing okay we're not seeing any little heads form yet um, oh well not sorry there are small small heads but nothing you know um, too substantial at the moment yeah, you can probably see some more of that necrosis over there. So, yeah, a little bit concerned about that, um, but we should get some usable heads off them. Uh, strangely enough, it only seems to be the plants that were affected by the caterpillars. It doesn't appear to be um, appearing on the plants on this side here. So, um, the only other thing I sprayed them with was the Eco. Um, oh, sorry. Name escapes me. That's the only thing, other thing I've sprayed with it, uh, with the dipole, just in case there was any aphids in here. So, yes, um, I think it could be potassium. So, like I said, I did dose up with some um, bicarbonate. So, the main reason for this video is I want to know from you folks what sort of content you'd like me to post on aquaponics. Uh, the main reason being is I'm in a bit of a slump at the moment, not myself personally, I'm feeling great. Um, but YouTube just isn't presenting my videos across the board, not just aquaponics. Um, the how to grow popular ones that were doing all really well, the wicking bed ones that were doing well. Um, all of them have just, the viewership has decreased markedly over the last three or four months. Uh, the reason being is it always goes in um, waves with YouTube for whatever reason certain times of the year they always turn down my searchability or um, the the promotion of my videos and then they ramp it up again uh, towards the end of the year so I figure uh, what I might do is get some input from you folks the supporters and see what you uh, where you think there's holes in the content with the aquaponics in particular to begin with and I'll start working on some more polished videos that hopefully will get the stuff that can help people learn a little bit more uh, in front of more eyes during those upswings and yeah I'll just potter along doing odd videos 
uh, weekly here until that time. So yeah, any content you think that um, I have missing on the channel, it would be fantastic if you could just let me know. Um, I think I will pretty much will leave it there for this morning though. Uh, go upstairs and have a coffee. It's a little bit chilly and I hope you folks have a fantastic week. Cheers all. Take it easy.